There's quite a few advanced features that we have available with Quasar's image component. So we're just gonna scratch the surface in this video, but I still think you'll find it a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and use the Q-image component, and we're going to set the source equal to https dot dot slash slash pixum dot photos slash 800 slash 400. So Pixum is this really cool site that basically allows you to automatically generate photos using a URL. So this is going to have an 800 pixel width and a 400 pixel height. We'll save that. And there we go. There's our image. And notice if I refresh the page, we get this nice spinner as well when that image is loading. Pretty nice functionality out of the box. Another thing we can do is change the ratio. So let's change the ratio of this image equal to one divided by one. So basically that's going to give us a square looking image. We'll save it and there we go. And notice that this is going to resize with our screen if we change the size of it. So what we could do, for example, is say width is equal to 300 pixels. So let's get rid of that. Let's try some other ratios as well. So if it's a cover image for a video, you might use, for example, four divided by three, or another common ratio is 16 by 19, 16 by nine. Nice, that's a common resolution for YouTube. So if you're using this as a cover image for a video, that can be a particularly helpful thing to know about. Oh, and there's another really cool thing that images can do. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut this and add a colon there, and this is going to be directing us to a reactive property, image source, let's call it that. Now we'll come in here and add setup. We're using the composition API here. Don't worry, it's not gonna be anything too fancy. Return an object, and then we'll say const image source is equal to a ref to that image that we cut before. And now I wanna import ref from view. So we also want to expose this, so let's return it there, save it, and it looks like it's still working, yes. So now our image source is sitting within a reactive property on image source. Now check this out. I can add in here Q-button, and then we'll say the label of this is equal to change, and then when this is clicked, we're actually going to change that image source to something else. So what I might do, is put in this to begin with, and we'll just change those last two numbers. So let's change it to, I don't know, maybe 850 by 420, something like that. So let's save it, and look at what happens when I press change. Notice that we get that really cool spinner. So I'll refresh the page so we can do it again. Check it out, no spinner, when I click on change, Rather than just changing it and trying to load it the sort of old fashioned HTML way, it's going to show that spinner and then the new image when it's ready. Really, really handy. So I love that. Let's go back to our original example here and see what else we can do. Oh, we can actually add a caption as well. So let's come in here and then add a div and say, for example, a beautiful day. Save it. And there we go, we get this really nice caption by default. But of course we can play around with this however we like. We could say, for example, class is equal to absolute top. And that's gonna take the full width of the top, but we can now then say text dash center. And then for example, text dash subtitle one. The text subtitle one is just gonna change the styling a little bit. And so now we have this really nice caption. We'll refresh it just so I can show you this with a different image. Notice that it's got a transparent background, so it works really nicely as a caption. However, you might not want it at the top. So let's say absolute bottom, absolute bottom left, absolute bottom right. Of course, you can throw this wherever you like and do stuff like background dash green or background dash blue and just change it to your heart's content. Really, really cool. In fact, I've never tried this, but we could probably even just make that a cue card, for example. Yeah, and then we get those nice curves on the edges that you get from a cue card. And so there you have it, the cue image component. And once again, there are quite a few advanced features that Quasar's image component gives us. So dig a little deeper when you're ready to find out more. And I'll see you in another video. Have fun.